Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about backup power solutions for your work at home, school from home, or even for those of you who love to tailgate and also go camping. We're taking a look at Zender's Super Base Pro. This thing packs anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 watts of power. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, one of the things I really like about the Super Bass Pro from Zender is that it's more than just a backup solution or power solution uh, for camping or even if you go tailgating. Um, let's face it, I have some battery backup solutions that I use in those situations, and I find that they go into storage immediately after I use them, right? And then when I'm going to have an event again, if I'm going to go out camping, I power them up, and you know, then I use it again. But what I like about the Super Bass Pro is that it also serves as an UPS solution, an uninterrupted power supply. Now think about this for a second. This is what makes this thing so flexible and also convenient. That means that you can connect your home devices, your laptop, your desktop, your monitor. Uh, think about all the things that you do if you're running a business from home or you're going to school from home or if you're working from home and imagine the power going out and still being able to operate for hours, if not the full day. That's what we're talking about here. And that's because this Super Base Pro comes in two uh, power options. One is 1500 and the other one is 2000 watts. Now this is gonna give you a lot, of, uh, a lot of power as you're using this throughout your day. We're talking about 2096 uh, watt hours of power. And the cool thing about this too is that it can charge up to 80% in an hour, right? And that's that's substantial. Now, this is gonna be working in two different modes, right? It's gonna work in a mode where it is standalone, right? Or it also can work in a mode where it's an ups. And as an ups, it means that it's permanently plugged into power um, in your home. You have all your devices connected to it. And then in the event that there's a power outage, you can operate without interruption. Like there's not even a blink, nothing happens. And you're gonna see this because we'll actually pull the plug and see how it doesn't even hiccup at all. So that's pretty cool. It has 14 ports, 14 ports, six of them that are gonna be standard AC that you're gonna be able to plug things in, four USB, which by the way, they're USB-C, uh, which I love because these are all modern forms of connectivity. USB-A, I have some stuff that is like that, but I prefer everything to be USB-C, so I love that that's here as well. And then what you also have, so that's four of them, you also then have DC connections as well. Now, you have seven different charging options, and this is gonna be something that you can charge um, with an electrical outlet, you can use a solar panel, there's just all just different ways that you can actually charge things uh, with this. Uh, solar input, right, so if you're off the grid, completely off the grid, um, you're gonna be able to input up to 1,800 watts, and that's fantastic, right? Um, as far as charging cycles, 3,000 cycles of charge that you can put this thing through. And uh, again, it's going to give you a lot of flexibility because it actually has a telescopic handle that comes out just like luggage with wheels that allows it to wheel around. Now, it also has a standard handle that allows you to pick it up. It's a little bit on the beefy side because again, it has packs a lot of power and has a lot of batteries in it. But the thing about you being able to move it around your house or being able to carry it is superb. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, um, I set up like a, a virtual office setting that I have this thing connected to. And you're gonna be able to see how all these things work together. But first, I wanna cover some power options. Now this product is gonna be able to power a lot of different solutions in your home. So this is the event of a power outage. And let's face it, uh, this is happening more and more in the US than ever before. So if you were to, let's say, run out of power, you can actually charge, this will, has enough power to, to power a hairdryer, 1,600 watts for up to five hours. That's gonna be you know pretty crazy, right? Uh, the other thing is, and this is one of the things that we do a lot, is in the event that we lose power, we like to be able to stay connected and still watch movies. So you're gonna be able to watch a projector for up to 16 hours, right? Uh, if you are tailgating, you can run a blender, 1,000 watt blender for up to two hours, right? And if you're gonna be grilling or cooking some form of uh, food as you're tailgating, guess what? two and a half hours or 2.2 hours, and that is using a skillet of 1,500 watts. Now for those average uses, things like I would use uh, pretty often, it's gonna recharge your MacBook up to 28 times. It's gonna recharge, you know, if you have a drone, 215 times. And if you're looking at uh, your iPhone or any other phone, forget about it, it's over 100 times. So a lot of flexibility. Let's take a look at this in what I would consider kind of my standard use case and why I think this is such a flexible solution, especially in an upsetting. I have the Super Base Pro on my standing desk just to illustrate, you know, again, the flexibility of this product. And 
I'll tell you, the entire experience from unboxing to just using it speaks premium and very well thought out design. So let's take a look at some of the features that we have here. First of all, at the very front, you can see that you have your charging ports. So you have here your 100 watt uh, USB-C. Uh, over here, you have your 20 watts. Uh, and then you have, again, uh, this output here that you can use also to charge some other devices. Now, the one thing about this is what I really like about, and I've heard some people question, why not have USB-A? Even though it does come with a converter, uh, right, from a USB-C to USB-A, I actually prefer um, all USB-C ports, as that's what we primarily use for most of the devices, at least, that we have nowadays. Now, as soon as you push this button, you're going to see something really cool. So as soon as we push this up, you're going to see the information display. Um, this is an incredible, very simple, and also uh, very detailed view of what's going on with the unit. So uh, this is actually powering up uh, this monitor. Uh, I have a mini PC keyboard. Everything is being powered up. So what I like about this is that you notice over here that you have powers on, and you notice that it says UPS. Now, as I mentioned during the spec review, what I love about this is that we actually have multiple uh, backup solutions, very similar to these, you know, these power plant type solutions. And what I found is that most of them are in storage until we go to use them, right? So we keep them charged, we'll recycle them and do uh, things like that just to make sure that uh, they're ready to go when we need them. But they're not something that I use all the time. And what I love about this solution, because it serves as an UPS, it basically is something that I can plug uh, and it will support my PC, it will support um, some of the electronics that we have in the house. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with the word UPS and what that means, it's basically it's an uninterrupted power supply. That means that if this unit were to be lose power, right, if it were to lose power that's right now uh, being connected or powered through the wall, it will continue to run and also uh, power the devices that we have completely uninterrupted. That makes this, to me, uh, for me, a spectacular deal. Now, in addition to that, you'll notice that over here I have the AC enabled, so you can see the power consumption right now. And because it's being served as an UPS, it's, it's not really consuming any of the battery that the, that the actual unit has, it's just serving as a pass-through. Now, over here, what I can do is I can turn on the, um, also the AC, or in this case, the DC ports uh, that are found on the side, which you'll be able to see in a second. But a couple of other things I just wanted to highlight is that this solution can be accessed remotely. It does have both Wi-Fi and then it also has LTE connectivity, which means that you can monitor this remotely. You can turn things on and off remotely. And I'm gonna show you how that works, right? So it's showing you what the output is and then it's showing you again, uh, in the event that you have any, uh, any power discharge or if you unplug it, um, how many hours of power it's supporting. So let's take a closer look at the sides and then we'll come back to this uh, display once we get the Wi-Fi going because I just want to show you how powerful this is. Now on the side here, you're going to see all of the ports or at least the AC outlets that we have. So uh, this one is going into the monitor. Uh, this one right here is going into the PC that have, we actually have a mini PC running. You notice that I have four left over. Here I have uh, DC power, right? So that if you have a cigarette lighter type charger uh, that you can use, especially if you have a car charger, um, you know, that you're using to, let's say, charge your smartphone, you can actually, if you're using this in a tailgating or a camping situation, all of these can be satisfying uh, those hungry devices. You'll also notice that we have the wheels here, and I'm gonna show you how, you know, once we take it off uh, the desk here, how portable this is. Well, I can carry it. I really love the fact that it has kind of a telescopic handle that allows you with the wheels to roll this around so you don't, don't have to really pick it up. Now on this side, you have more inputs. Uh, again, these are all charging inputs. Uh, so if you were to have a solar panel, if you were to have, let's say, for example, um, another form of input coming in, and you're going to see some of the cables that comes with this, or in this case, the AC, this is where everything uh, comes in, and you kind of have, uh, you know, the reset capabilities and whatnot on this side. Uh, there is venting on both sides that keeps this nice and cool. There is a fan that's actually running, making sure that it doesn't overheat as well. Now, as we mentioned, you do have Wi-Fi capabilities, and you can see that little Wi-Fi symbol that you see there. Let me power this up again. Um, you can see it right here, and you would have an LTE symbol here if you were running this LTE. So if you have this in a cabin, you have this in a place where there's no Wi-Fi available, you can still monitor the solution and control it. And let me show you why that's so important. So over here, we have our phone, 
And we're just gonna go over through uh, some of the options here so you can see. So here we have the Superbase Pro and there's firmware updates, all that kind of good stuff that happens. But here you see everything that's going on with this unit. And this is kind of like uh, some of the power that's going on. So you do have power going in and then what you have is power coming out and it's telling you how much is coming out. It'll tell you time uh, until full, right? And it's gonna tell you if there's power going out of these areas, it will tell you this as well. Um, you can turn on your AC or DC. We just turned on the DC a couple seconds ago. So what I'm gonna do is turn it off and you heard how fast in real time that is. Let me do that again, watch this. Let me swip it. <laughs> That's pretty fast, right? That's through Wi-Fi, right? So what you can do also is there's a LED light here at the bottom that you saw that green light. You can actually uh, change the color you can turn it off, and as soon as you hear that beep, it's just the actual unit confirming that that change took place. And this is what's so spectacular about the solution, how quickly it's responding. So you can see that you can have all of these color options that you'd like to have. At the very top here, you're gonna see all these symbols indicate what's enabled or what's disabled. You can see that the cooling fan is on, you can see Wi-Fi is on. Uh, all these are just telling you things that are going on. And you'll notice it has a 4G symbol there. So the 4G, if you don't have Wi-Fi, allows you to do exactly what you see here, but do it via your cell. Now there's a couple other features that I just wanted to highlight here um, that are these function buttons. So you saw the uh, actual light. You also then have the ability to find the position of where the unit is, but then there's some power functions here now. You have quiet charging uh, mode, so this is something that you can enable, and then you have an amp up mode, and I find this to be really, really powerful because what it does is when you turn on the amp uh, up mode, it says when amp up mode is turned on, right, can power equipment requiring up to 3000 watts without triggering an overload protection. So there are some units that you may have uh, that may consume high, um, high wattage on startup, but then they kind of normalize. You can actually turn this on so that when that device does that massive draw, it doesn't trip the actual Superbase Pro another spectacular, well thought out feature. Now this product has a lot of updates or it's very upgradable. So you have your network settings at the very top, you have your standby time, automatic shutdown, if you want sounds enabled or not, uh, what is the unit, unit of measure that you're using, either Celsius or Fahrenheit, uh, depending on how you wanna see things, uh, device sharing, firmware update, and the cool thing is that the firmware is in two areas, so we'll bring that down a little bit. So you have firmware here that is for your AC and DC, so those um, get independent updates, and then you get some device information that you can also review. Now one other test that we're gonna run through is we're gonna unplug the actual Superbase Pro and we're gonna see if this equipment shuts down, right? So here you can see a lot of the specs that we had gone over earlier that just uh, talked about the capacity. Again, this is the 2000 watt version. But what we're gonna be doing, and I'm gonna pan here for a second, uh, we're gonna be coming down to the actual Superbase right here and I'm going to disconnect this power source and we're gonna see if this monitor comes up. Remember, this monitor is connected as well as the PC that's giving you the browser is connected to this. So the keyboard that you see here, the monitor, and then also the PC are all connected to the Superbase Pro. And, and again, in a work at home situation, go to school from home situation, um, even in some, I would say some very modern cities all across North America, power outages are very common. Sometimes they're structured and they just happen the way they, they happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the plug. And again, keep an eye on that monitor, keep an eye on that keyboard to see if anything happens. We're gonna go ahead and do that. It's unplugged. Did you notice anything happen? Nothing happened because the ups protected it. So if we turn over again, you can see that the monitor is still going. Uh, the keyboard is also going. And if we come back here for a second, so we're gonna come back and take a look at this, and I press this button here, what you'll notice is that now the, the input is not coming up. Now it's purely on the output side. It's still running. And it's right now gonna basically determine how many hours of power do I have? So it's, right now it's looking at the output and then it's calculating how many hours I can run in this state. So this is where I think that this really sets it apart from a lot of the solutions that are on the market because you have that ability to use this as an uninterrupted power supply that has both Wi-Fi and also LTE capabilities. Spectacular solution. 
Now, one of the things I just did is I pressed, I was pressing and holding this button, and what you notice right here is that the 4G symbol starting to blink. That 4G symbol indicates that it's right now uh, looking to connect to one of the 4G towers. And again, that's the same tower that you would use on your cell phone so that I could have the same remote control capabilities that I have via Wi-Fi. So again, Wi-Fi connectivity or 4G capabilities. And the, the performance is pretty uh, fast. What I found is on the 4G side, it does take a little bit before it actually gets, uh, gets connected, uh, but it will continue to flash and then you'll have a solid 4G uh, once it's connected. Now on the top of the super base, you do have a nice handle. And what I like about this is I'm gonna let it go right here so you can see something, it goes into place. So I really like how well thought this is because you pick it up and once you're done picking it up, you just wanna let it go and it's gonna tuck away and it's not gonna be in the way whatsoever. So I like that uh, kind of trigger that it has here. And then here it has this button that as soon as you push it, this opens up, this is like luggage. So if you can uh, literally, uh, move around your luggage at the airport, you're gonna be able to move this around too because it has, again, the ability to have that telescopic movement coming from here that allows you to move it around. So either lift it or wheel it around. Now the last thing I wanted to highlight is you can see that the 4G connection um, already established itself. So you see 4G, you see the bars, and now I can see this wirelessly, no network, 4G based, and see everything that's going on with this unit. I can turn it off, I can monitor what's going on and see uh, when the power comes back, how it continues to work. Now one final test is let's simulate power coming back to the unit. So I'm gonna take the cord that I just unplugged and I'm gonna plug it back in and to see if anything changes. You can see in the background, monitor still going, keyboard is still lit up. And if I come back over here, nothing has changed. And notice how I kicked back into UPS mode. Absolutely love it. Now with your Superbase Pro, you do get this nice little travel bag or pouch. Um, has a USB-C to USB-A converter here. Uh, here it has some additional charging cables, right? So this is gonna give you some flexibility when it comes to how you'd like to charge it. Like the way that this is designed because the neat thing about this is that um, I always have a problem with, with accessories because uh, once I get them, I put them away and then I can't find them. So having something like this in this little pouch, and as you can see this thing right here, guess what? It fits right on there. So I'm gonna be able to use it there. So I'm gonna go ahead, walk up to it, and I just wanna show you, I can just take this, place this on here, all right? So that's gonna stay there at all times. I can take that, move that around. I wanna move it now that I have it up. I can just move it just like this without a problem. Move it around. And this is something that even Nova is able to move around, especially because it has the wheels, makes it super convenient. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Super Base Pro. See you in the next video.